periodic functions multiple choice questions so I have a set of 12 questions for you on periodic functions this is to test your knowledge application and thinking so they are very carefully designed and uh, there are some which can trap you therefore read every question clearly try to make your sketch or do some rough work before answering that will help you and don't just rush through them the idea here is to to understand yourself how much have you understood the topic periodic functions correct at this moment i like you to read the question understand the question as i read it for you and after the choices make your selection right so and at the end of reading all the four questions you can stop the video answer all the four questions and then move on and listen to my suggestions or answers that should be the way to do these couple of videos on multiple choice okay thank you so here is question number one time period of y equals to 2 sin 3x minus 1 is 360 degrees 180 degrees 120 degrees or 240 degrees make a selection and then move on to the next question question 2 maximum value for y equals to 2 sin 3x minus 1 is 2 1 0 minus 1 question 3 minimum value for y equals to 2 cos 3x minus 1 is minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 or minus 4 question 4 axis of symmetry for y equals to 2 cos 3x minus 1 is y equals to 2 y equals to 3 y equals to 0 or min minus 8 so make your choice take your time stop the video once you have done all the answers then look into my suggestions here are my suggestions time period of y equals to 2 sin 3x minus 1 is now time period is decided by k this value 3 right so normal time period of sin x is 360 degrees and for sin 3x we have three sine waves within 360 degrees k is 3 so the time period for you in this wave is 360 degrees divided by 3 divided by this number 3 correct so we get 360 divided by 3 is 120 so the choice is 3 that is C is your correct answer 120 degrees maximum value for y equals to 2 sin 3x minus 1 is now that means the wave has been shifted one unit down and its amplitude is 2 so it is 2 plus minus 1 so you get it is 2 plus minus 1 so it's 2 more than minus 1 right so that gives you 1 and the answer is this do you see that okay. minimum value for y equals to 2 cos 3x minus 1 is so it will go 2 units further down from minus 1 correct so it is minus 1 and minus 2 which is minus 3 that is the choice axial symmetry for y equals to 2 cos 3x minus 1 is that is the axis of symmetry correct so the answer is d so that is how you are going to make choices here right move on to the next set of questions and try to do or answer these questions before my revealing them 